Welcome to a video about eyelets and eyelet setting. This is my choice of eyelet setter. It's called the Silent Setter from Provocraft. And the reason I chose this particular model is because it is actually silent. A lot of um, setters you can buy which has the shaft and you strike them on the top with a hammer or you pull something up and it bangs down and of course that makes a noise and because I craft quite a lot late at night when there are sleeping people in the house I bought this model and it does the job very well. As a demonstration to use it you take out the board here this, this, this mat is a more dense um, mat than your own ordinary mat that you would use for cutting. It will make much more of a mark in your own mat than on this one, so it's worth using this one. This unit does come with a little pot of its own eyelets. Um, more than that, I've been using some of those. You take whichever eyelet setter size you want, and this one I'm using medium, which is pretty standard. I tend to use the mediums and the large and that's the large there and the medium is this little one here and then there is a tiny weeny one as well. And to set an eyelid it's very simple. I'm going to put one in this heart here. You take your eyelid, I'm going to put one here, and you just put pressure on and twist and it brings out the hole with it and it's actually in the top there. To set an eyelet in, I'm going to take an eyelet here and pop it in to the front like that, turn it over and then you take the corresponding setting head, again pop it in Put the nib inside the hole and again you're just going to push down twisting a motion lift it up and there you have the back is pushed down and split flattened and split and on the front you now have a nicely set 3d metallic eyelet now of course there are lots of colours and lots of shapes you can use. Lots of them are on the market. I tend to go with a traditional round, but you can buy all sorts of shapes, such as um, flowers and leaves. And that's just a selection of mine. And all of this packs neatly back into the case. and zips up. So there you have it, the Silent Setter from Provocraft. A jolly good item to have. Here are some examples of eyelets in use. This is a pretty standard use. I've used a piece of acetate here to print some journaling onto and to um, adhere it to the page. I've used eyelets. If I turn that over you can see the eyelets more clearly at the back there is a less standard use. I've used them purely for decoration. They're not holding on to anything but the theme on this page as you can see is bubbles and I've used them to infer bubbles and I've used the different sizes here too. And the good thing about the setter is that I can use this anywhere on this page. It is not restricted in reach in any way so I can use it anywhere.